Boy, when you think you know everything there's to know about your body, scientists go and discover something totally new. Here are their most recent findings. Just like salamanders regrow their tails, humans might be able to regenerate cartilage. That's rubber-like stuff around your joints. Last year, scientists discovered that cartilage could repair itself, most effectively at the ankle, not that well in the knee, and least effectively in the hip. Your brain is constantly processing tons of visual information, about 600 million bits per eye. It all starts when the light goes through the cornea, your eye's clear protective outer layer. After several transformations, the light turns into electrical signals. They travel to your brain, and it interprets them into images you see. It takes milliseconds for this super complicated process to happen. Oh, by the way, your other organs of perception analyze a bit less information. Your skin, 1 million bits of data per second, ears and nose, 100,000 bits each, and your tongue, just 1,000. The human brain is 73% water, just like your heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start feeling exhausted. This also makes your memory get worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. If you ever wondered about other organs, your lungs are 83% water, your skin contains 64% water, muscles and kidneys 79%. Even your bones have some water inside, about 31%. It's hard to tell how many organs people have, because scientists still argue about what to call an organ. That's why, when some researchers claimed they had discovered a new organ, the mesentery, not everyone was happy. The mesentery is a fan-shaped fold that holds the guts in place. People know about it for centuries, but only several years ago, it became clear how large and important the thing was. Talk about newly discovered organs. There's also the interstitium. Experts still argue about the proper name and whether the thing can be called an organ at all. Anyway, until recently, no one knew about these fluid-filled pockets that are scattered all over your body, from muscles to the skin and digestive system. These pockets work as shock absorbers for all the bits you have inside. When someone's lying, their own nose gives them away. Psychologists from the University of Granada discovered that when a person told a lie, the temperature around their nose and in the inner corners of their eyes went up. This phenomenon was dubbed, any guesses? The Pinocchio effect. The hippocampus is part of your brain that helps you navigate in space. You have two of them, each the size of a chestnut. London cab drivers have bigger hippocampi than most other people. Researchers are sure it's thanks to their regular mental workout. It's not a gimme to navigate 60,000 London streets without GPS. Your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. Almost right after you drink something, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd keep gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. There's likely to be one more previously unknown organ in the human body. It looks like a mesh-like web of cells inside your skin. These cells cover nerve endings and might be the reason you can feel pain. The fattiest organ in your body is your brain. Fat makes up at least 60% of its dry weight. It even got the brain to the Guinness World Records. No wonder the thing contains about 25% of your body's cholesterol. This substance is vital for the brain. Without it, this organ wouldn't survive. People who live to be 110 years and older, also known as supercentenarians, may have a secret. Researchers have discovered they have more immune cells, called T helpers, than the average person. These cells are likely to protect people from viruses and other health problems. Until not so long ago, it was believed that people got born with a definite number of brain cells, and this number couldn't be changed. But recently, scientists have figured out that the brain does change throughout its life. It grows new cells via a process called neurogenesis. Scientists have always thought that the human brain is a sterile place, free of germs or bacteria. 
But the latest studies show experts might have been wrong all along. It seems there are harmless microbes living in our brains. But researchers need a bit more time to make sure. Human bones might be loaded with a network of tiny tunnels. Scientists knew nothing about them until recently. That's why it was unclear how blood cells, which are produced in our bones, could quickly exit the bones and get into the blood circulation. But now, the mystery may be finally solved. If there are holes, there can also be capillaries, miniature blood vessels. The human brain is sometimes called a random thought generator for a reason. More than 48 thoughts appear in your brain in just one minute. It's almost 3,000 thoughts per hour and 69,000 per day. We've become impressive multitaskers thanks to technology. Or rather, it only seems so. The human brain can't concentrate on two things at once. What it can do is switch between several tasks really fast. But it makes your attention span shorter and harms your short-term memory and the ability to learn. Blinking helps you keep your eyes clean and moist. But that's not all. Every time you blink, you also have a micro-nap. Researchers from Washington University have found out that blinking makes your attention sharper and works as a tiny recharge. A single neuron, an itsy-bitsy building block of your nervous system, sends from 300 to 1,000 impulses every second, which is up to 60,000 impulses per minute. The average person has around 86 billion neurons in their brain, which is not as many as scientists previously believed. And still, it means at least 26 trillion signals travel through your brain every second. Wow! Your brain can decide what sounds to focus on when you're in a loud place. Thanks to this ability, you can shut out all other voices and concentrate on the person you're listening to. You keep in memory more faces than you can imagine, up to 10,000. It varies from person to person, but the average number is 5,000 faces. It doesn't mean that you have to put a name to the face, recognizing it is enough. Your body emits faint but visible light. In other words, you do glow. You're the brightest at around 3 to 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible in the morning at 10 a.m. The problem is that this glowing is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can see. Scientists have figured out that you might be this good at hearing things thanks to a teeny jello violin. Inside your ear, there's a miniature assembly line of nerves, tissues, fibers, and bones. It turns vibrations into sounds. And there's also a blob of jelly-like substance made up of 97% water. Researchers believe that thanks to this jello, your ear can separate high frequencies from lower ones. There are more than 650 skeletal muscles in your body. They make up around 40% of your body weight. Up to 85% of the heat your body produces comes from your muscles contracting. At the same time, caterpillars have many more muscles than people. Some species, up to 4,000 of them. And the grasshopper has 900. Your hair tracks your sleeping patterns. It knows when you are sleeping. It knows when you're awake. Kind of like Santa Claus. If you wake up too early or go to bed very late, your hair will show it. If your eyes see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and that's less time than you need to blink, it's enough for your brain to process this image. Your fingers are extremely sensitive. They can feel objects that are 13 nanometers across. That's around the width of a human hair. This way, if your finger was the same size as our planet, you would still feel the difference between cars and houses. Some people might be better at knowing everything than others because of their super effectively wired brains. Brain scans have shown such individuals have shorter and stronger connections between brain cells. But scientists haven't found any links between more brain cells and more general knowledge. Millennials, who are now 24 to 40 years old, are more forgetful than previous generations. They keep slipping their minds where they put their car keys or what day of the week it is. Such bouts of forgetfulness happen to them more often than to their parents. Not so long ago, 
researchers found scientific proof to the phrase, great minds think alike. Well, kinda. They discovered that close friends had similar brain reactions while watching unfamiliar videos. But it's still a mystery whether your friends change the way you think, or you choose friends who think like you. Each of your taste buds works as a mini-computer. It consists of up to 100 cells that analyze taste information. Researchers believe that if people suddenly started to be born with six fingers, the brain would easily adapt to it. People with polydactyly, extra fingers or toes, usually don't have any problems. Their brains know how to control additional fingers and can use each of them independently. Such people sometimes need only one hand to carry out a task for which others would need two hands. Chromesthesia is seeing colors when you're listening to music. It's a kind of synesthesia, a phenomenon when people have several senses mixed. Some of them perceive numbers in different colors. Others can taste words. People have more than five basic senses. Don't forget about the sense of space, the sense of pain, the sense of balance and of time, the sense of temperature around and in the body, and many others. Your tongue consists of eight intertwined muscles. The whole structure resembles an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacle. Just like them, the tongue's super flexible and can move in any direction. Like this. Or this. Scientists think they may have discovered the reason why some people are born left-handed. They've analyzed 400,000 people and discovered four genetic regions partially responsible for the handedness. Three of these regions are also connected with the brain structure and development, especially in the areas that are in charge of language. Golf stones are made of calcium salts and cholesterol. But what glues all this stuff together is your own white blood cells. They clump the material together and, with time, it gets shaped into more or less spherical objects. Without a pinky, your hand would lose 50% of its strength. As for your feet, it would be a tough challenge to run or even walk without a big toe. It bears more than 40% of your body's weight. Your blood delivers oxygen to all parts of your body, with one exception. It's the cornea, the front part of your eye. It absorbs oxygen right from the air. Plus, it's a part of your body that heals the fastest. Most scratches or cuts disappear in a day or two. Having a bigger brain doesn't mean being smarter. The Neanderthals' brains were 10% bigger than those of the Homo sapiens, but it got them nowhere. Albert Einstein's brain, on the other hand, was 10% smaller than the average, but it had way more greater neuron density. Plus, the parts responsible for processing space and numbers were bigger in his brain. Your teeth are the only part of your body that can't repair itself. But the enamel they're covered with is one of the toughest things in the human body. There's a thingy in your brain that's responsible for your sense of smell. It's called the olfactory bulb. Interestingly, a tiny percent of women who, for some reason, lack this bulb can still perceive all smells without any problems. Scientists haven't figured out what makes it possible yet. After growing several human taste cells in the lab, scientists found out that they had an ability to smell. In each one of them, there were a few molecules similar to the ones found in the cells in your nose. That's why taste cells reacted to odor molecules just like smell cells do. It means our senses of smell and taste are even more connected than we thought before. Your skeletal cells never stop regenerating. It means you get an entirely new skeleton every 10 years or so. This process slows down with age, and the regeneration takes longer. That's one of the main reasons why bones become thinner. Researchers have found a way to cure memory loss caused by different illnesses. The latest studies have shown that safe and extremely weak electric currents can boost the brain's natural ability to heal itself. During the experiments, some brain areas started to communicate with each other in a different way. It improved short-term memory for up to 50 minutes. People can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. 
only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus for food and liquid and trachea for air. When you swallow, your airway gets automatically closed off. It prevents you from accidentally inhaling food. People are the only creatures on Earth equipped with chins. And scientists are still puzzling over this mystery. The theories why humans evolved this way vary. From chins helping us to chew food, to their important role in speaking. The average person has 250 hairs per eyebrow. But some of us can grow 1,100 eyebrow hairs in total. Eyebrows play an important role. They prevent rain and sweat from getting in your eyes. And their arched shape makes the liquid slide along the sides of your face. Half of all the genes stored in your DNA keep encoded information about your brain. But this organ takes up just 2% of your body weight. The remaining 98% of your body information is stored in the other 50% of the genes. Even though it's still a mystery why we dream, scientists might have understood how we do it. Japanese researchers discovered two genes that are essential for the REM, which is rapid eye movement, stage of sleep. And that's exactly when dreams occur. Mice without these genes didn't have REM sleep. No REM sleep, no dreams. Scientists have recently discovered a new type of brain cell. They're super important for visual search. They got called target cells. Without their help, you wouldn't be able to spot a friend in a crowd, a certain building on the street, or your dog in the park. Curiously, target cells don't care what the thing you're searching for looks like. All they want to know is whether an object is the target or not. In 2016, researchers figured out the four genes that are in charge of people's nose shapes. In particular, their pointiness and width. One side of your body has more blood vessels than the other. That's why hair and nails on that side get more nutrition and grow faster. There are 2 to 5 million sweat glands on your body. The sweat they produce is of two different kinds – stress sweat and regular sweat. The sweat caused by stress has fatty acids and proteins in it. And the regular sweat is mostly made up of water, salt, and a tiny bit of other substances. All muscles in your body are connected to bones at two ends. It helps them pull and create motion. Your tongue is the only exception. On one side, it's connected to part of your neck. But on the other side, there's nothing. Perhaps it's what's responsible for gossip also called wagging tongues. Just saying. Some of the bacteria that live in your gut can produce electricity. They can give off electrons, and it creates tiny electrical currents. This is likely to be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. Fingernails grow faster on the dominant hand. If you use your right hand more, you'll have to trim nails on it more often. Fingernails also grow more quickly in the summer and during the day. Your eyes keep taking separate pictures and moving all the time. Otherwise, they won't be able to provide you with a complete image. You don't notice these movements because your brain is a great video editor. It stabilizes the pictures and connects different fragments into one smooth flow. And finally, sneezing makes people happy. When you sneeze, your body releases endorphins, 